Um, I just want to ask a few questions. Alberta municipalities and RMA have been sounding the alarm about Bill 18, Bill 20, Bill 21, and Bill 22. You're now leader of the official opposition. What are your views on these three bills? And do you think that the Premier has gone too far? Because she says it's just a communication issue that they had with the municipalities. Oh, no, it is not that. Um, And, you know, I often wonder if the Premier knows what's in her own bills. But these bills are authoritarian. They are taking away local democracy. They're taking away the right of people in communities to vote for whom they want. And basically all they're about is ensuring that uh, anyone who disagrees with the Premier, which is everyone, uh, doesn't have the authority or the power to actually get anything done. So Bill 18, for example, prevents uh, municipalities from making deals with the federal government. Let me tell you a few things in Calgary that we made directly as the federal government. The BMO Centre, which the Premier proudly opened last month, would not have happened under Bill 18. The airport tunnel, uh, not the tunnel, but the airport uh, trail, uh, would not have happened under Bill 18. Many, many uh, examples of infrastructure and social infrastructure and roads would not have happened under Bill 18. So we're leaving billions and billions of dollars on the table and the province has no desire to return them. Bill 20 is a direct attack on local democracy. Bill 21 assumes that the government knows better than local authorities how to handle emergencies and the list goes on and on. And this is also a giant political error. Bill 20 will backfire very badly on the UCP, ensuring that no conservative-leaning folks get elected in Calgary or Edmonton. And they have basically taken the municipalities, who they used to think of as their farm team for future politicians, and turned them all against them. Uh, The feeling at Alberta municipalities, at RMA, against this government is like nothing I've ever seen before.